Welcome everyone, how you doing? We got big news coming out of Dallas today. I don't know if you've been following this, but Amber Geiger, she was that policewoman who walked into her neighbor's uh, apartment instead of hers, I guess, because she was too busy uh, sexting, as they said, and shot and killed them. Well, it's been going on big time lately. Uh, she was just found guilty of murder. Of Botham Jean. Let's take a look. Uh, this article is by Barney. Yeah, not even going there with the last name, but this is out of Fox News. Uh, the punishment phase of Amber Geiger's murder trial began Tuesday afternoon, two hours after a Dallas jury found the former police officers guilty of murder. Now, if anybody's ever been in the court system and had to go through a trial, when a jury comes back, with uh, a guilty verdict in two hours yeah you're pretty uh toast right there anyway uh then it said the jury took only five hours to decide that geiger a white cop who shot her black neighbor botham jean when she mistook his apartment for hers was guilty of murder she was the first Dallas police officers to be convicted of murder since the 1970s and faces up to 99 years in prison. Now with this one, her being a white cop and uh, the victim being black, I can almost guarantee you that this judge is going to throw the book at her, which he should. Or it's a she, I guess the judge is. Uh, the jury first heard from Jean's mother, Allison. Prosecutors walked her through several pictures of her son during various stages of his life. Allison Jean spoke fondly of her son's academic and extra, uh, extracurricular accomplishments, as well as his commitment to his church. After the judge read the guilty verdict around noon, Jean's sister sobbed while his mother raised her fist in the air and said, God is good. The Ben Trump, a lawyer for Jean's family, said nothing will bring him Botham back, but today his family has found some measure of justice. And you know what? It's bad enough getting shot up on the streets or uh, the violence that happens there, but a cop walking into your apartment because she thought it was her shooting you? Man, that is messed up. Uh, what happened on September 6, 2018 is clear to everyone. The officer saw a black man and shot without reason and without justification. The jury's thoughtful verdict sets a powerful precedent for future cases, telling law enforcement officers that they cannot hide behind the badge, but instead will face justice for their wrongful actions. Well, you know what? I wish that was only true in the biker community. As everybody knows, <sighs> Motorcycle profiling is huge. I remember uh, one guy, and it's been said around, man, it's been repeated. If you ever wanted to know what being profiled is when you're wearing a patch, just ask a back guy, man. They'll tell you exactly what it feels like to be profiled. And yeah, that's kind of like what's going on in the motorcycle club community where it is time to hold police accountable for their actions. They are not gods wearing a badge. They're just like me and you, and we pay their salaries as taxpayers. Anyway, let's go on. Geiger was off duty but in uniform when she shot at uh, Gene twice, hitting him in the chest. She had worked a shift lasting over 13 hours on the department's uh, crime response team that day and mistakenly parked on the fourth floor of the complex's garage. Uh, you know what? There's people that work... You know, 16, 17 hours a day. They're not going to walk into the wrong apartment and shoot somebody. Geiger lived on the third floor, and Jean, a 26-year-old accountant from St. Lucia, lived in the apartment above hers. Prosecutor said Jean was watching television and eating a bowl of ice cream in his living room. When Geiger burst inside, prosecutor said the trajectory of the bullet showed that Jean either was getting up from his couch or was cowering when Geiger fired her service weapon. You know, it's just out of the blue, man. She goes in there, guns blazing and stuff. How did she get in an apartment? My uh, question, did she, like, open the door? Did it, you know, what a... Geiger was a four-year veteran, again, of the Dallas Police Department. Initially was charged with manslaughter. Two months later, a jury 
indicted her on a murder charge, which I totally agree with. Manslaughter, uh-uh. Throughout the trial, her defense team framed the shooting as a tragic but innocent mistake. Really? Uh, you go into the wrong apartment? Uh, again, I don't care if you're working 13 hours. You, no, who goes in the wrong apartment, people? Don't get it, man. Uh, the judge, Tammy Kemp, ruled Monday that the jury could consider the controversial Castle Doctrine. I don't get how they can use that when it wasn't even her apartment. A law that basically says a person's home is their castle, and therefore a person has the right to defend it. Well, it has to be your house first, don't it? Anyway, legal analysts said that the trial's outcome hinged on whether the jury would believe Geiger's account that she made a mistake and that mistake was reasonable. Yeah, you know what? This, uh, <laughs> this I like the quote here. This case is about what is reasonable and what is absurd. Uh, yeah, he, you know what? This is the first time I really agree with a prosecutor. This one is pretty absurd. Fine uh, also brought up witness credibility and told jurors that they had to they had a duty to look past Geiger's time on the police force and judge her like they would any other defendant. He then picked apart her testimony. Now you got to agree with that. Just think about it. Let's put it in a traffic incident, uh, traffic ticket. Anytime anybody goes in there and tries to fight a ticket, the judge, prosecutor, they're uh, right on the freaking cop side, man. You're already convicted before you speak just because they claim that they uh, hold law enforcement officers to a higher standard. That That's ridiculous. You know what? It's just a uniform. It's a badge. And they're human beings just like you and I. So, you know, I, oh, I can't stand that. On Friday, uh, she testified in her own defense. She openly wept after her attorney, Toby Shook questioned her about the moments that led up to the shooting. She says, I was scared to death and that her heart rate just skyrocketed. She grew up in a suburb of Dallas and said she never wanted to take an innocent person's life. Well, hmm. She also reenacted how she reached the apartment door she believed was hers with her backpack, lunchbox, and police vest in her left hand and said she heard the sound of somebody walking around inside, she testified that when she put the key into the lock, she noticed the door was ajar. You know what? See, that's where her story starts falling apart. Because if she's taking her key, now I don't know, because uh, I wasn't at the trial, did she put the key in the lock? Because my question would be, if it's not her apartment, that key wouldn't have went into the lock to turn. So it was a jar, meaning she just made that up because the guy was on this couch eating ice cream and he left his door wide open. I don't get that, man. Anyway, she said she saw the silhouette of a figure and pulled out her gun and yelled, let me see your hands, let me see your hands. I was scared he was going to kill me, she testified. What, with a bowl of ice cream? You were scared? Come on. Throughout the jury, or throughout the trial, jurors heard from officers who raced to the scene. Anyway, that is your breaking news for today. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section all that good stuff. Don't hit, uh, forget to hit the subscribe. The whole nine yards, guys.